Hello everyone. So generally students ask this question many times about which subject they should focus and what is the percentage of marks they are going to get from every subject. Now I have taken the analysis of the previous question papers and this analysis I have taken from the website which is the gate overflow. You can check out that website for tons of good resources. Now you can see that we have uh, the subjects in gate computer science are theory of computation, algorithms, digital logic, operating system, database management system, compiler design, computer architecture, programming, data structures, computer networks, mathematical logical reasoning, probability, set theory, combinatorics, graph theory, linear algebra, calculus and so on. Now there are some subjects that is removed from the computer science labels which is the software engineering, web technologies and numerical methods. Now this is the previous year analysis, this analysis is from 2010 to 2016 and in all these papers what is the percentage of marks you are getting in one subject. Now remember that recently the pattern of the examination has changed, the syllabus of the examinations in computer science has changed because this web technology is not in syllabus as well as this numerical methods is also not in syllabus. So after seeing this analysis you can see that for every subject like subject is theory of computation the minimum number of marks we got theory of computation is 3 marks and maximum is 8 marks but on average we are getting theory of computation for 6 marks after seeing all this analysis. In algorithms uh, we got around 11.9% marks, it is nearly 12% marks you are getting from algorithms. From digital logic you are getting nearly 5.6% marks. From operating system you are getting nearly 8.4% marks. Database basis it is 7.4. Compile design is 4.5. Computer architecture is 5.6, programming is 2.9, approximately 3 marks and data structures is again 3.9, approximately 4 marks. Computer networks is 7.5, mathematics, mathematical logic is 2.1 and probability is 3.2 percent marks. Set theory is 4.3, combinatorics is 0 0.8 and graph theory is 3.1, linear algebra is 2.2 and calculus is 1.9. If you see the other subjects here, let me just scroll it down a bit, then verbal ability is of 7.2% marks and numerical ability is 7.8. But if you categorize all these things thoroughly, then let me categorize it properly this way. There are some subjects which are interlinked with each other, like theory of computation plus compiler design. You, you have to prepare both these subjects together. Then we have engineering mathematics plus discrete mathematics, you have to prepare both these subjects together. Then we have computer architecture organization and digital logic, you have to prepare both the subjects together because they comes in the combination. Here you can also add operating system as a subject. Then we have a subject like database management system and computer networks and uh, then we have aptitude which includes both uh, the verbal aptitude plus the numerical aptitude. Now look at these parts, we have the first subject is theory of competition, so theory of competition is generally of 6 marks and compiler design is as you can see here, the compiler design subject is generally coming of 4.5 marks, so on an average you can expect around 10.5% of the marks from theory of competition to compiler design which is nearly 10 to 11 marks. Now in engineering mathematics, the portions like combinatorics uh, is a part of engineering mathematics it is also a part of, as you can see community is a part of discrete mathematics, it is approximately 0.8. Then we have set theory which is also in discrete mathematics which is 5.3. Then we have probability which is also in discrete mathematics, the, prob uh, the percentage of marks that you are getting on an average is 3.2. And then we have mathematical logic which is approximately 2.1% of the marks. And then we have calculus which is 1.9% marks which is in engineering mathematics. And if you take the other subjects like numerical ability, so this numerical ability is uh, is coming around 7.8% marks. So it is, uh, that is an aptitude which is 7.8% marks. Even if you check engineering mathematics and discrete mathematics, this subject is compares, coming somewhere around 12 to 10 to 15 marks on an average roughly. Now if I take the subject like computer architecture and organization, this computer architecture organization comes around 5.6%. Uh, and uh, if you see digital logic is also coming around 5.6% marks 
and if you see operating system here operating system is coming around 8.4 percent of the marks because 8.4 percent of the questions are coming from operating system so these three subjects this is nearly 20 marks you can see here it is nearly 20 marks 19 to 20 marks dbms itself uh, this subject is coming for 7.5 marks and uh, computer networks is coming from uh, around 7.5 percent of the marks okay so you can see what's the minimum number of marks you are getting from the subject and what is the maximum number of marks you are getting from the subject now by this you get an idea about to which subject you have to give maximum weightage for example here if you are studying computer architecture digital logic and operating system then you, this is around 20 marks engineering mathematics is discrete mathematics it is around 15 to 20 marks theory of competition is around 10 to 11 marks dbms is around 7.5 marks but you can see what is the minimum number of questions you are going to get that is around 6 and maximum is 11 which is also a very good percentage to start with and then we have computer networks it is also one of the lengthiest subject here uh, minimum is 6 marks and maximum is 9 marks here these two are all big subjects and uh, this aptitude both the uh, numerical ability as well as verbal aptitude so these two comes for around uh, 7.2 which is approximately 15 marks okay so accordingly you can distribute your time and percentage how you can start preparing the subjects okay so i hope this video was helpful for you you can refer all the sources which are available online to prepare i created this video because most of the time students ask me sir what is the percentage of marks i'm going to get so just this is just an informative video about for every subject what is the percentage of marks you're going to get from that particular subject and i'm going to post the link of this file in the in this video i'm just also zooming up here you can check out check this uh, uh, excel sheet in detail here you can pause the video you can write it down if you like and i'll also post a link of this uh, excel sheet uh, in the uh, comment section of this video okay if you have any question if you want me to make some videos on any topic just let me know accordingly i'll make a video uh, to make it uh, which can help me in your exam preparation Okay, thank you for watching the video. All the best.